Hi, I'm Jaffe, and I'd like to share with you why Costa Rica is an amazing place to visit and what I wish I knew before I went there. This presentation will be about the area around Hako. This is a Pecha Kucha style presentation for my media enhanced learning class at Vancouver Community College. Costa Rica is a small country in Central America. It is about 51,000 kilometers squared or about one and a half times the size of Vancouver Island. It is bordered by the Pacific Ocean to the west, Caribbean Sea to the east, Nicaragua to the north, and Panama to the south. Costa Rica's tourism has been growing strong over the past 10 years. Most of the tourists visit from the United States and only a small percent from Canada. This could be because of the long flights and connections. It took almost 18 hours to arrive here from Vancouver, BC. Costa Rica's weather changes dramatically depending on which coast you are on and which season you're visiting. I visit the Pacific side during their summer, which is January through April. This is their dry season. Costa Rica does not get hurricanes as they are not in the hurricane belt, but they do, however, get monsoons. Most of Costa Rica's houses are built on stilts. This is to maximize ocean views, prevent damage during floods, protect against insect invaders, and to be environmentally sustainable. There are communities of tree houses that are built in trees around the jungle that are popular in the area. There is a variety of wildlife in Costa Rica, including crocodiles, sloths, monkeys, and iguanas, just to name a few. There are wildlife rescues and sanctuaries across the country to protect animals on the endangered species list. You can volunteer at many of them if you choose to have a working holiday. This is the site from a bridge over the Tarcolas River between San Jose and Jaco. Many American crocodiles flock here, I'm told because local restaurants used to throw their scrap food into the river. Recently, tour guides and locals have started feeding the animals to make sure they are around for tourists. 25% of Costa Rica is National Reserve and National Park. One of the most popular is Manuel Antonio, south of the town Huapos. There are over 100 mammal species living here. I recommend hiring a local tour guide as they are able to spot animals easily. There are four common species of monkeys living in Costa Rica, the howler, squirrel, spider, and white-faced monkey. This is the endangered titi, or gray-capped squirrel monkey. It lives almost solely in Manuel Antonio and the jungles surrounding the park. Both two- and three-toed sloths live in the park. This is a two-toed sloth. They have yellowish brown limbs and have two long claw-like toes. They are hard to spot because they sleep high up hidden in the trees. It's hard to believe, but sloths are great swimmers when they need to be. Playa Manuel Antonio is rated by Forbes as one of the top 12 most beautiful parks. It's easy to see why. White sandy beaches, clear water, all bordered by lush rainforest. You can only get to this beach by taking a walk through the park. It takes about an hour and a half to get there from the entrance. While at the beach, take time to swim, snorkel, and kayak. Snorkeling is the best in the summer when the water is clear and the fish can be easily spotted. Sport fishing is also very popular in the ocean surrounding the park. You can hire a charter boat out of Huepos or Hako for the day to fish for snapper, marlin, and mackerel. A great way to see the rainforest is to take a zipline canopy tour. There are a few different companies operating in and around Huepos. I felt really safe the entire time we were on our tour. We didn't see any wildlife, but we did hear howler monkeys as we were traveling through the canopy on our ziplines. This is the town Hako. It's located about 130 kilometers from San Jose. Many locals and tourists visit here for surfing, beaches, and nightlife. The main street has great shopping with lots of locally made arts and crafts. There are carvings, paintings, and great jewelry available. Playa Jaco is the closest beach to San Jose. It is a four-kilometer stretch of white sandy beach, world-renowned for surfing. 
There are many surf schools on the beach and you can take lessons for about $40 a day, including your board, rash guard, and personal instructor. Playa Hermosa is south of Hako. This is a small beach town that has a 10 kilometer stretch of beach. This is a great place to stay if you like to wake up early in the morning and go surfing or spend some quiet time on the beach alone. If you do stay here, I recommend renting a car as you're about 15 to 20 minutes away from the closest town. Playa Hermosa hosts the International Quicksilver Surf Championship every August. The best time to surf here is April through November. At this time, the waves can reach up to 13 feet high. This beach does have very strong undercurrents and is not ideal for swimming. Because of how large the beach is, is a favorite place for locals to surf. Playa Hermosa has black sand, which I think is really cool. This is because of all the volcanoes in the region. There are six active volcanoes in Costa Rica and about 61 dormant and extinct ones. Arena Volcano National Park is about five hours away from Hako and is one of the world's 10 most active volcanoes. While traveling around Costa Rica, you'll hear locals say Pura Vida. Direct translation means pure life, but to Costa Ricans, it means much more. According to the website, Best of Costa Rica, it means that no matter what your current situation is, life for someone else can always be less fortunate than your own. Costa Rica is an amazing country, and if you have the chance to visit, you will not regret it. The locals are amazingly helpful, and they make tourists feel safe. With a little planning and a sense for adventure, there's something for everyone here. Pura Vida.